28 years. And now this, it's always something with you. I was too skinny, then I was too fat, then my ass was too big. Oh, but you all about that now, huh? In the era of YA dystopian novels like The Hunger Games, The Selection, and The Uglies, it seemed that the last thing we could expect was for Tyra Banks of all people to hop on the trend. Yet, Tyra threw her hat in the teen dystopian ring and gave us Model Land. Model Land is a 2011 YA novel written by Tyra Banks with the help of a ghostwriter. I do think she had a genuine hand in writing a decent portion of the book though, because some of the quotes are just so cringy, but in that unique, unsettling way that could only come from the twisted mind of Tyra Banks. Tyra said of her inspiration, I'm always dreaming up ideas, like when the words modeling boarding school floated into my head while I was driving on the FDR highway in Manhattan. I wrote them down in a little notepad and five years, thousands of pages, and dozens of writing getaways later, I finally get to call myself the author of Model Land. As a reminder, these are some of Tyra's other magnificent ideas. Model Land was supposed to be the first book in a trilogy, but currently is still the only installment. Model Land follows the main character, Tuki De La Creme, a name you can't tell me Tyra didn't come up with, who is gangly, awkward, and basically a genetic chimera for no reason other than Tyra thought it would be cool, I guess. And she is very tall, very awkward, super insecure. She has one green eye and one brown eye, so she feels like a freak. And on top of that, her forehead goes on and on and on and on. Irrelevant, but Tuki's mom's name is Creamy De La Creme. Creamy. Creamy. <laughs> because Tuki is so unique looking, she's invited to join an elite class of models called the Intoxabellas. Along the way, she joins a ragtag group of other model hopefuls, including a plus size girl, a little person, and someone with albinism. I think Publishers Weekly sums it up best in their review of Model Land, calling it overlong, campy, and warped and a non-stop barrage of surrealism and wackiness. Another magazine didn't hold back, calling Model Land a nonsensical, nightmarish acid trip that seemed like it would never end, with more made-up words and terms than a Klingon translation of a Dr. Seuss book. Model Land is 600 pages long, making it longer than half the books in the Harry Potter series. For the record, I did try to read the book myself, and it was so cringy and disjointed I couldn't finish it, and I remember lying to my mom and saying that I did because I had begged her to buy it for me on my Kindle. A lot of my fellow classmates at the time, who were seventh grade girls, also convinced their parents to buy them the book, and it was always checked out at the library. Now, this isn't because the book was gonna be the next YA trilogy that preteen girls were gonna base their whole personalities off of. It's because the book had been marketed to us all through Tyra's preferred method of torture, America's Next Top Model. Tyra Cross promoted Model Land on an episode of Cycle 17, coincidentally the all-star season where Anjali was disqualified. The final four girls filmed a motion editorial, aka a trailer for the book, as their final elimination challenge before the finale. I didn't get far enough in the book to understand what them being dressed like Olympian cyborgs has to do with anything. Tyson Beckford was also in the trailer. Regardless, I and other preteen girls thought this was art of the highest form and begged our parents to buy us Model Land when it released. Tyra said her intention with Model Land was to show how despite how selective and exclusive the modeling industry was, girls with unique looks could still pave their own lane. Oh, but it's, oh no, 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 it's too late. It's too late because today I am wise enough to know that my beauty is not defined by you. Beauty is all shapes and sizes, all colors and genders, young and old, tall and short, thin and thick. The book preaches themes of confidence and embracing one's uniqueness, a sentiment Tyra also preached on Top Model, when she felt like it. Do you really think you can have a cover girl contract with the gap in your mouth? Yeah, why not? This is all people see. It's easy to read beautiful cover girl. It's not marketable. In 2019, to remind us that her book even existed, and in an attempt to revive her waning ANTM fanbase, Tyra announced a model and theme park. Mind you, the other two books in the Promise trilogy never came out, so there was no model and universe. It was just that one book that most people found too silly and too long to finish. Tyra herself knew the book was too long because she also announced a model and graphic novel was in the works. 
Tyra said her intention with the Real Life Model Inn was to bring modeling to the masses. She claimed she'd been working on modeling for the past 10 years and it was part of her mission to expand the exclusive modeling world. Model Inn was set to open in late 2019 in Santa Monica. The 21,000 square foot attraction would allow fans to experience their modeling fantasy through multi-level ticketed experiences, restaurants, and of course, buying merchandise. Guests could have access to catwalks, professional photo shoots, and an immersive theater experience. Tyra claimed she was inspired by Disneyland and Universal Studios, and she wanted to bring a sense of adventure to the world of modeling. Santa Monica's Model Land would be the first of many locations planned to open globally. When asked to describe Model Land, Tyra said, Model Land is going to be a place where the modeling world meets fantasy, meets entertainment, meets technology, meets retail, meets dining, meets your fiercest, best self you could ever imagine. She also said that Model Land would have a social media component that would allow people around the world to see what Model Land was about and then hopefully want to visit in person. Aside from Model Land merchandise, other retailers could sell their products inside the attraction. I'm assuming the majority of these products would be makeup or beauty related, which guests would be more prone to buy after a day of pretending to be a model and getting made up with a lot of these same products. Make no mistake, Tyra doesn't view modeling as just a cash grab, she also considers it a movement. She said, yes, it's an attraction and a destination, but above all, it's the genesis for people with all types of different beauty to feel seen and validated. And Tyra truly does want her guests to feel valid, or as valid as their payment for their tickets, which could go for up to $1,500. The cheapest ticket to Model Land was for general admission, which was $59. General admission includes a personalized lookbook, a limited shopping experience, and editorial photo shoots directed by Tyra herself. There's not more of an explanation on this, but I'm assuming it's via video and not live. The next tier is the Fantasy Scene photo shoot ticket, which costs $549. This experience includes an extravagant photo journey complete with hair, makeup, wardrobe, refreshments, and access to limited edition products. The Fantasy Scene Dream Ticket is the highest price at $1,500. In this package, you get a hair and beauty consultation prior to arrival, as well as a designer wardrobe and a luxury gift bag. Each level of ticket works kind of like an add-on with guests getting everything in the level below it too. I guess that somehow justifies $1,500 for an amusement park ticket, like that's not an entire month's rent at this point. I truly don't even see how most of this is logistically possible, unless they were counting on very few people to be careless enough with their money to go all out on those higher priced tickets. Instead of really explaining how the park would operate, Tyra and her team responded to most questions about modeling by repeating how revolutionary and inclusive the experience would be. Like, what is this going to be? Yeah. I'm. It's going to be great. Model Land is going to be insane. It's going to be bananas. What it is, is it's about you coming and joining the uprising. That we are tired of this one defined narrow beauty and everybody that comes to Model Land is joining the uprising to oh, like take it. down the people that say we are not good enough. Okay. The entire thing seems too good to be true and like it could never live up to how Tyra had sold it. Remember, she was promising beauty consultations and high fashion photo shoots in designer clothes. Model Land actually has a website, and I signed up for it because that's the only way to actually access the website. But after signing up, I was regretfully informed that the webpage no longer existed. But not one to be deterred, I did click on the ticketing page that came up as the second Google result. This page actually does direct you to the Model Land site. A message on the homepage states that Model Land won't open until the governor deems it safe, so I guess Disneyland and all the other amusement parks in California are operating illegally at this point. Or maybe it's just more plausible to think that the website just hasn't been updated in over two years. The fact page explicitly states that they're unsure still when the park will open. Despite this, tickets that were purchased could still be honored when or if Model Land opens. Guests also have the option to be issued a refund. Though ticket sales are currently closed because there's no park yet to buy tickets to, you can still become a Model Land member, which seems to work kind of like a season pass. One could join the Beauty Model Squad for about $1,700 a year and get four general admission and four fantasy and photo shoots a year. Or you could join the Couture Model Squad for $5,500 and get 12 general admission visits and 12 fantasy and photo shoots. The memberships also come with a hoodie. There's also a job application linked to the site, but it redirects to an Indeed page that no longer exists. And of course, as one could imagine, there are no pictures of Modeland on the site, but you can find multiple pictures of Tyra Banks. 
On the site, they do clarify that Model Land isn't technically a theme park because there are no rides yet, according to them, but there will be ever-changing themes. I'm not sure what their definition of a theme park is, but I guess they're technically right that Model Land isn't a theme park because it's yet to exist, so it isn't anything. The guest experience fact doesn't answer any logistical questions, but it does again remind guests that Model Land is for everyone and to make sure they download the Model Land app to personalize their experience. Tyra also reminds her guests that while she's worn the finest couture in the world, you're still allowed to come to the park looking crusty as long as your check doesn't bounce. Model Land was due to open in May of 2020, but in March of that year, Tyra announced that the opening would be delayed due to the pandemic. So we were unfortunately deprived of the social media fallout that would have rivaled Firefest had this place actually opened. It doesn't seem like Tyra has given any official updates on Model Land or when it will finally open. If it does, I don't think it'll do too well, especially considering the outrageous prices. It's obvious Tyra is trying to capitalize on how diverse the modeling industry is becoming, and it feels like she thinks she has some sort of ownership over that because of ANTM. Tyra never misses an opportunity to say she was leading the charge on there being models of all shapes, sizes, and ages. In my opinion, turning inclusivity into a commercialized experience makes it seem like more of a financial opportunity than a cause that's near and dear to her heart. Since Tyra's public image has shifted in the past couple of years, I don't even think Model Land would be popular even if it were priced affordably. This isn't a case of where the Harry Potter books are so compelling and beloved, people are willing to look past the unsavory actions of the author. A lot of people are anti-Tyra now, and the book flops, so there's really not much of a draw there. Places like Harry Potter World or even the world of Avatar are based on global phenomena and creates an established world for fans to immerse themselves into. Model Land wasn't a global phenomenon by any means. It's hard to find any genuinely positive reviews of the book, and hard too to find people who even finished reading it. Also, it provides a different experience than every day, yes, but not a fantastical one that can't be recreated elsewhere. Even at a regular amusement park, I can get on a ride and do things that I couldn't do at home. Honestly, for the ticket prices, you'd be better off just buying your own outfits and makeup and doing your own photo shoot. I genuinely don't think Model Land will come to fruition. The idea itself misses the magic of adventure parks like Harry Potter World or even Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Modeling doesn't compare to the clandestine foreign world of a magical boarding school or a chocolate factory unvisited by the general public. Modeling really isn't the secret, inaccessible world anymore that Tyra acts like it is. Let's talk about how I had to mix my own makeup colors because if I left it up to the people that you chose for me, I'd look like an ashy clown. Oh, and don't get me started on the hair. Do not get me started on the hair. Tyra also doesn't have some sort of insider perspective on modeling that the rest of the world doesn't, especially not to the degree that justifies her asking people to pay thousands of dollars to attend her theme park. It honestly just seems like another vanity project of Tyra's and an elaborate scheme for her to earn a pat on the back. If Model Land does open though, it is where we're having our first fan meetup, so you better start saving your money. Let me know down in the comments if you've read or even finished Model Land and what you thought of it. Also, especially let me know if you were ever trying to go to Model Land theme park or know anyone who did and how that worked or didn't work out. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys super soon. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!